Hello and welcome to another edition of Cracking the Cryptic. Today what I'm going to do is play you my solve of today's Times Puzzle, which I've just done. And my plan was to tell you which of the bits of the clue I was really keying on to try and solve each one. And you can choose then whether you just watch what happens or if you want to pause and have a think for yourself before you kind of get, before we get to the answer for each clue. Um, so, you know, that might be a useful tool to just understand what I'm looking at mainly in the clue. Now, as the puzzle progresses and one gets letters in the grid, that really changes. So you're kind of looking then at some particular part of the clue together with what's appearing in the grid. So I should point that out as we go along. So here we go. This is my solve today. I think it took me about 10 minutes to get the puzzle. So I had a quick look at one across. Couldn't do it. Losing pounds suggests it's dropping an L from some part. Two down, didn't see that. Parrots, two no call, that's not all. Had another look at one across and one down, couldn't see that either. But then I'm going to go to three across, where not inviting is the key part. And that was the definition to off-putting, which could be read as off-putting away at the golf course. And this is going too quick for me, so I will pause here. Um, four down, I didn't get this immediately, cyclists, last to don some sort of headgear, wasn't it? Um, elaborate, I think, was in the clue, and that was really the key part. Five down here, yeah. good article about dry bread. Well, the key thing there is bread and a five-letter word beginning with P, and that enabled me to find the defined answer, and then I could work out the... Um, wordplay, which was pi, t, t, and a. Uh, six down, I couldn't get immediately, but language is the definition, and that's the key part. Seven down, I also couldn't see. Eight down, however, begins weapons, and with a four-letter word beginning with G, I think a lot of people would be able to get that. Bar lifted is snug reversed. Eleven across. Here I was looking at valley, which isn't the defined answer, but it's an important part of the wordplay. You put A in a word for valley, and you get glean, which can mean pick up in one sense. Now, seven down does look like an anagram. The key thing, remarkable, looks like an anagram indicator, and indelicacy is the thing to be anagrammed, but that's ten letters long, so... We need to use the almost to reduce it by a letter. And then we've got indelicac. So that's what I was focusing on to anagram. The definition there is not that very helpful. You need to consider the dot, dot, dot at the start of the clue. And the another, therefore, refers us back to the previous clue where we were looking for a language. And um, I'm not sure if I solve this immediately at this point. I don't think I do. I think I move to 13 across where on the water is the definition, and I could get that from an A starting um, a six-letter answer. So that was the key part, on the water in 13 across. Here I go, having a look at it now, and I can see on the water, and then I realize that one part of a carnival procession, procession is a float. So back to the language at six down. Now Tagalog, I think it's pronounced as the language of the Philippines, and that's Tagalong without an N. Quite a neat wordplay there. And then this next language at seven down, that anagram gives us Icelandic, um, which I type in wrong to start with, but that's fairly straightforward. Now, 15 across, the definition almost certainly is explain your intention. So if you can think of a phrase that fits the 5334 enumeration and fits in there, you're well away. And I couldn't at first. So I tried the other long answer, 18 across, where international committee, same sort of principle, that looks like the definition. So I'm looking for some sort of international committee that will fit 87 with a C, where I have it. And in goes Security Council, the United Nations Security Council. Um, now I had a look at 16 down, where I couldn't really pick on anything useful, but well up is intriguingly the definition there. 19 across, I not wonderful on musical terms. This is a musical turn and I didn't know it. 17 down, key part of Cambridge Walk. 
um, again, not, not getting there at this stage. Now 20 down, I'm just going to pause. Um, have a look at it at this point. Removes restraint. That's got to be the, or removes restraint of, has to be the definition. So I couldn't, I knew that I knew a word for classical drama rules, but first one going suggested to me taking the first letter off that. So I thought I was looking for a seven letter word with you, the second letter, to take the first letter off and have removes restraint. And I did think of a couple of words, undoes and unties. And I think I flicked away from that answer before um, understanding that and going back to it and realizing that it was unities without its first one or its first I. And that's unties. Then I have a look at 14 down, and this is where the puzzle really has its interest for me. I read this clue, and what I see is AI suggesting this department for customer service. And I immediately think, well, that's suggesting artificial intelligence, suggesting a department for customer service. But what could AI be in crossword terms? Well, it does look like the center of something or the middle of something. So given that I've got a four-letter word ending in L, mail something. Mail order would be customer service. And I kind of fill in mail thinking that that's definitely right. And um, in the end, I put mail center, which I think answers the clue very neatly as I've read it. AI suggesting this department for customer service. AI suggests the center of mail. And a mail center, I wasn't sure it was a phrase, but it said it sounds right, it fits quite well, and that works. And that gives me 15 across, because now that the last word ends in something D, something A, what's the big idea occurs to me as a um, phrase meaning explain your, your intention. So now one down, cynical in respect of downing for one. Well, downing for one is very suggestive there, and that's what I was using here. And given the letters I've now got in the grid, that makes this answer streetwise. So now quickly flicking to nine, uh, 16 down, where I've got two letters now, well up. Now for a phrase to be in a something, um, it could be at or as, but there's also the French O, A-U, and once I'd thought of that, au courant quite clearly means well up, and I didn't really need much of the rest, to be honest, for that. So four down, as I mentioned, elaborate was key to getting fancy that, which is T in fancy hat. 12 across for a sort of bet, that's clearly going to be the definition, and we know one sort of bet that immediately fits that E and Y, and that's an each way bet, which is made up of an E and then archway without the R. Nine down fights, so brawls fits, and that's a brother with walls. Now, 10 across begins canvasser, which looks like a politics term, um, but to place an indelible mark is in the clue. And that's a very clear um, definition of a word that um, it's not the whole answer, but it's part of it. And if you place an indelible, indelible mark on an animal, for instance, on your farm, you brand it. And the only way to fit brand into these, this pattern is Rembrandt. And of course, he's a different sort of canvasser from the one we may have been thinking of. So in he goes. Back up, I think, to one across, trying to tidy up the corner and losing pounds in a depression. Well, the depression's hard, but sit dejectedly is slump. You take the L out of that, you've got sump. Two down parrot is a verb, and its answer is mimic. Two note call, that's not all. You've got me and me as the two notes, as in do, re, me. And then call, but not all, is the letter C, which is quite neat. Now, 17 down, key part of Cambridge Walk. Took a bit of general knowledge, but I eventually remembered that um, the part of Cambridge where the river flows through, I think, is called the Backs. Um, and that is very helpful when you've got B something C in the clue. So a back's pace would be part of Cambridge Walk, and it's a key on the computer. 23, completely fill up. So that's satiate, given the letters in the grid. And the word plays very neat here. Account of weekend meal, sat I ate. Saturday I ate. It's quite funny. Um, 29, Turner was the key word here. So once I'd thought of that being not the artist, but something that turns, 
then that gives me wheel, and once that's shortened by one letter, I've got an expression of excitement, fifth clue, is we. So then 24 down, flooded, given those letters in the grid, that has to be a wash, which is W in A ash. And 27 across, again, the definition's the key part. What's needed for repair? Spare part. Um, so that's fairly straightforward. Now, 21 across, quite a strange word, but it's occurred in crosswords every now and then. One might know it from real life, but I think it's the rarest in the puzzle. English bachelor turning, and that's immediately making me think of the letters E-B, turned round to be B-E. On, in the Times, normally means after something. So I'm thinking, uh, do I know any words where B-E could end this six-letter word? And happily, the only one I know begins with a charm, and that's an unusual definition for juju, and gives us a cough suite, which is the also unusual jujube. So there's a, certainly a bit of general knowledge going on there. Um, luckily, something I have come across before, both juju and jujube. So pretty difficult, I thought that one was, but luckily it didn't hold me up too much because of that English bachelor. Now, 22 across, at which one may stand? Well, there's a phrase beginning at, which means a way to stand. And then at middle of atelier is giving us the letter L. So you can stand at ease. And if you stand at ease at something in the middle of your atelier, that's kind of an and literally so clue for easel. Very neat as well. Sorry about that. Um, then still can't do 19 down. Although what I should have been focusing on here is an anagram of A loud, because it is A loud, comma, discordant. So that's fairly clear, theoretically, although I couldn't see it. Um, and 26 across. Unfortunately knocked back. Well, I was thinking of a lass knocking it back, but then it says taking oxygen for cold. So I need a word that's just like a lass, but where I can replace a C with an O. And of course, alas and alack is a phrase, so alack must mean the same as alas, and if I replace the C with an O and reverse the word, I've got koala. Am I up a gum tree? Quite an amusing definition there as well. 25 down, you sleep soundly. So that's a homophone for a phrase meaning you sleep, and that is you kip. So in that goes, we wanted to be out of Europe. Um, Intriguing that they feel able to uh, put that in the past tense. I think that's a little bit of a political statement in some ways. Um, 28 across. In pole be tied, strangely. So pole be tied is a very odd collection of words. It's ten letters long and strangely suggests you have to anagram it. The definition is being visibly out in front, but that's probably all you need to see pot-bellied. It's a difficult definition, but luckily the anagram is fairly clear there, and in goes pot-bellied. And then in 19 down, a loud, introduced by re, and anagram, that gives us roulade, which must be a musical form. So I thought I was done there, and in fact, I mean, I've, I've submitted my answer, but it turns out I've got something wrong which was a bit of a shock to me at this point, because I certainly hadn't seen any real problems as I'd gone through. And what I got wrong, and well done if you spotted this, was the answer to 14 down, where I'd written mail centre. Um, now, there are times when... Oh, sorry. Let's um, go back to the clue for mail centre. Let's just find where that was. Okay, here. Now, I read this clue, 14 down, as AI suggesting this department for customer service. And that works really well for mail center, if it was a phrase. Now, it turns out mail center's not in Chambers Dictionary, so it, maybe I could have known that. But the key thing is, I've misread the clue. Because of the font they used, this actually says owl suggesting this department for customer service, as if there's a man called Al suggesting a department to someone for customer service. Well, this sensory font makes that, for me, unable to determine between Al and AI. If I had thought that 
it could be Al. I hope I'd have thought of call centre and realised that was a more likely answer. But the surface of that is so bad, in my opinion, Al suggesting this department for customer service, that if I gave any thought to it, it was enough to think, no, it must be saying AI. And I mean, I don't remember thinking about the possibility of Al at all. So I feel very hard done by there in a way. I think I've been fooled by the printing. And I think it's only the printing in the online version. I think the newspaper has a serif font. It unsurprisingly uses Times New Roman. Um, and I'm pretty certain that the um, Crossword Championship scripts use a serif font. So you can see that that's saying out and not AI in that case. And with that, I'd have got it. If this clue had suggest AI, had said AI, I think Mail Centre is an entirely correct answer. You know, even I had a look on Google. You know, there's over half a million references to exactly that phrase. It's not an unknown phrase. It's just not in the dictionaries at the moment. But it could easily be, maybe in some dictionaries. Um, and you know, I think I've been cheated a bit there, to be honest. But the solution I've submitted has been wrong. It's not a typo. It's what I thought was the answer. But again, <laughs> self-justification is easy. I'm not kicking myself that hard about it. But uh, congratulations if you went, surely he's reading that wrong. That must be AL and that would give call center. Well done if you spotted that at the time. And certainly I was you know, dropping some suggestions that my reading of the clue and so on. Um, a bit of a strange puzzle for me there, and certainly that's the thing I'll be remembering about it. There were some lovely clues like the fancy hat in fancy that, tag along giving tag along, Tagalog, and um, a number of the others. The the and lit clue for easel was very cleverly worded as well, but um, slightly marred by that answer. And I'd like to suggest to the Times that they change the font they're printing this in. But peculiar um, problems like that one. But thank you very much for watching and I uh, hope it helped you get something out of it, even if it's just a good laugh at my expense.